That does not work like that. That does not work like that. What I'm saying is, when you babies, and, they, and you're giving them knowledge yourself, and then you contradict yourself by putting them in the public school system, continue. That does not work like that. That does not work like that. What I'm saying is, when you babies, and, they, and you're giving them knowledge yourself, and then you contradict yourself by putting them in the public school system. Exactly, Earth. You can't jerry pick 120. And you can't jerry pick evolution. You can't say, well, this part is probably right, but this part isn't. That's what Elijah would have said. Uh, he listened to theology time. He would have coughed on that one. Because he would have said, the foundation to evolution you know, man came from monkeys. See? That's their foundation. That's like with their nexus. That's like their A, D, and B, C. Similar to that in that fashion. So when that religion was made manifest. And who's their main prophet? Darwin. That's their main prophet. So, you yeah, had that religious practice fighting against the Christian religious practice. And the only way you could believe that it's not a religious practice is if you believe it really is science. We pretty much covered the one to ten. Right? All the way to Waycliffe, Buddha, the whole nine yards, right? We covered all of that. Now, say you because in my mind I'm saying, all right, we didn't go ex we didn't go in depth into Buddha because no one has really been going against what they say Buddha teaches or uh, the lessons that were left or from the Buddhas. So that's why nobody really has to, you know, you defend it because you can go and look for yourself and those lessons are there. Up until a certain point, then you, you run out, you know, you can't find that stuff because it's too old. It's old, it's ancient, it's it's the ancient things, and it's ancient to ancient things. So when the people who were what we see as the ancient writings now, when they were doing the knowledge, they found those scribes, and those were ancient to them. So imagine what they are to us, right? So um, on that note, that would be uh, knowledge added on to a cipher, right? That would be knowledge added on to a cipher, and that should pretty much complete us because um, when we went, we did the, the study on the difference between an Arabian and the uh, ruling class of people that are in Arabia today. All right? That's just like saying... The Egyptians in Egypt in the time of the pyramids are not the, those e, are not the same Egyptians that we see now. The people that can call themselves Egyptians in these modern days are not the Egyptians from Kemet. That's not them. They didn't do that. They, they can't do it now, and they couldn't do it then. And it's not like they've been stripped and forgot because they remember all the way before Muhammad. Dude. They remember before Muhammad. Go ask them their genealogy. That's part of their culture is to be able to recite it back. It's in their name anyway. It helps them. All right, so that's not what's going down. And then if you look at the geographical location of Egypt today with the what the Europeans carved out and called Egypt, that's not what Egypt was of yesterday. Ancient Egypt, that's not what it looked like. And it sure was in those boundaries, all right? So all of that is shown and proven, right? Going through that. Um, and then when you go into the lessons, it'll say Islam is equal to mathematics and mathematics is equal to Islam. And so just by them saying it's mathematics, that would make me say... 
All right, grab a piece of paper. All right. Everybody grab a piece of paper. See, now you're not going to see this the, the way that you should see it unless you grab a piece of paper. Because once you write the sequence down, then you'll be able to see the pattern. You feel me? So once I give you a certain amount of numbers, you'll be able to see the pattern. So you're going to start off with a 1, comma, 1, comma, 2, comma. And now we can go right there and say, how did you get to 2? All right. 1, comma, 1, comma, makes, goes to 2. That's how nature really does it. One man and one woman, and then they make as many babies as they want to make. You see, that's how it goes. So the fat, so the the Asiatic sequence, which they gave it to a bunch of different devils, depending on which era of time you in, who they going to try to say that they're the ones who discovered it. But in nature, the original man knew that. That sequence is the manifestation mathematically, the physical form or matter or Asiatic, as they would say in the Quabalistic Tree of Life, Malkuth. All right? That's what it's saying. Now, one, comma, one, comma, two, comma, three, right? Because one and two is three. Two and three. Five. You know, you're going to keep making the commas. That's going to make it boring, right? Three and five, eight. You see the pattern? Five and eight, 13. Right? Now you see. Now that sequence, if you look into space with the telescope, um, not uh, a, um, not merely a store-bought telescope. You need something a little stronger. Well, nowadays you could spend five, six hundred dollars, thousand dollars on that kind of instrument. But say you didn't have that kind of money. Well, they got museums and uh, telescopes are. And you would uh, go to these observatories. There are all over the place. You can just go online, Google Observatory. Your Google um, is going to probably know where you at because I doubt if you put a VPN on your stuff, but that would be a good move if you wanted to do that. But anyway, nevertheless, you can Google and find out if it's in your area or do you have to take some kind of field trip to get to one of the uh, space telescopes they use to look into space, right? I mean, they got way more sophisticated stuff now, but those ancient telescopes, which ain't really ancient, but those old telescopes, they you can see good with those. Gee, word is born, you can see, and now it's not so top secret anymore, and so they let you do it, right? They don't care if you look at them now, because they got the electromagnetic stuff going on now. They got electronic telescopes that's looking... And layers out into space. Um, it's just lenses is what it really is. But the same way you can look at a microscope, you can see a telescope. And see, when you go and buy a telescope, that's why they kill me, the flat world. And some intelligent people be saying that shit. And that's why I say to people, flat world is not really an argument. It's a religion. It's a religion. But people that are in that world or they bear witness to the definitions of the European, they might say it's not a religion because he doesn't give it that religious connotation. But if we go back to the Roman Catholic Church, are you telling me that that first physical pope, uh, I forget his name, the one they all say that got his direct... Uh, lineage from um, Peter, the first pope, right, that Peter handed it to him, because that would be the next one in line, would be after Peter, was supposed to be him, right, okay, so, I'm not going to get all into the, the theology of it, I'm just saying, that for a point to make is that, 
when he was the Pope, which they didn't even call him the Pope then, but later on, popes called him the Pope, the first Pope. But when he was the first not Pope, but was the beginning of it being made manifest, trust me, they wasn't really thinking of him as no religion and that it's going to be big like this. Yeah. They knew about this, as they would call it, this new upstarting God. The new upstarting God, because they already had their gods. Thor and all of them, and Zeus and everybody, right? But anyway, the point I'm making is that sequence that they always trying to act like they discovered, a sequence that is in galaxies all the way down to the small things like shells, even those ancient shells that they be finding in rocks and stuff. They have that same one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, dot, 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 right? They have that, too. Even you, if you look at your arm from your shoulder to the tip of your finger, see all those segments in your hand where the joints are and everything? That shit is one, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, et cetera, et cetera. It's that, my man. It's that. That's exactly what it is. Now, the reason why I'm giving it to you in this type of a language, we could go all in depth into the mathematical equations that they use to manifest from it. But that would just defeat the purpose of young people really understanding the point that I'm making. That that sequence is in everything in the universe. Everything. You can't, it cannot, you can't make things work in the universe if it doesn't apply this sequence to it. Like if you try to create a, a house and you don't use that, it won't, it won't stay together. That's a fact. It won't work. See, even look at a cigarette lighter. Isn't a cigarette lighter something like a body? It's longer than it is wide. A pen. A cell phone. Even when you measure a laptop, it's really the opening all the way when you open it all the way. That's what's really the measurement going across and back when you're talking about nature. Watch everything you do. Look at the keyboard. Now, man himself, you can make squares. I'm not saying that he, a square can't work as far as being a square. But the ability that it has to function as a square is limited compared to a circle. You see what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. I'm not saying it can't do it. But if your phone was more like a square wouldn't work as well as it works unless it was a big giant square but even then you would rather have it like a screen longer than, than it is wide you feel me right because you're part of it too like if you're the if you're as wide as you are tall you're gonna look funny or they're going to say you're kind of heavy, like you're overweight, maybe, probably, could be. I would think so. I would think you was overweight if you, um, if you're six foot tall and six feet wide. I don't think you're going to be able to do a lot of walking and moving. See what I'm saying? It doesn't work that way. So. Everything is really that way. Works better. A door works better longer than it is wide. Of course you can have a circle door like the hobbits if you want to. That won't be so bad, but it works better as a triangle, don't you think? I mean, uh, a rectangle better than a circle. Circle's going to take up more room, too, on that part of it. It's, not, it's just not going to work right. It could be done, though. But you need more room. You need, like, a mansion, and it's just yours, and you're going to make it a circle, and that's going to take more work. But 
It could be done. I'm not saying that it can't be done. That's what I'm saying. When you weigh it and judge it, you'll see, like, would you rather be a circle person or a rectangle person? You feel me? That's what I'm talking about. And then it depends on what, what, are, you, what are you using in, in contents with. Say, this is going to be your champion for your state. Uh, he's going to run the decathlon. You want him to be a circle, a sphere, or you want him to be a rectangle? That's how you're going to make your choices. If you see it, right? Because a square house could work, but eventually it's going to be a rectangle if you build it up. Unless you geographically make proportionate moves out at the same time when you go up. Other than that, it's going to be tall and it is wide. That's a fact. That's what I'm talking about. So that sequence is that. Now, that shows and proves that if you use the Europeans basis of success, then that means you automatically use his basis for beauty. They say, no, 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 it's not good. Yes, it is. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You do it subconsciously. You're doing it now. You're telling me we don't do that as a people? Individuals don't, but as a people, we do, G. My word is bond. Look at us. How many, you telling me there's more Asiatics going natural than they are not going natural, that are artificial? Yeah, I thought so. And that's the world over. So just because we used to think when we first got knowledge of stuff when we was in high school and college and in between high school and college, when we when we were at that age group, we thought that based on one twenty, the understanding we had at that time, at that moment, that uh, the one of the main reasons why you don't have knowledge of us because you didn't know you fourteen generations back from where you were at, you as an individual, you couldn't go back fourteen generations and know and talk about what they did and their accomplishments and whatever. And and if you could do that, you had your, your language and your culture and your creed, right? But then we discovered when people came back from Africa and that we based it on their studies that even when you had your culture and your creed to a certain degree, you could still have been colonized mentally, even being in your own country, because by now, Africans are colonized. They're uncolonizing themselves, but they are colonized, and they have a lot of ways and actions of the European. You say, oh, no, yes, yes, G. Look at the leaders of these countries. Go to the U.N. It's right down the block. You go to the U.N., right? And, you know, they might not let you right in where whatever the case may be, but you're an American citizen. You got a right to do certain things within that boundary. But that wouldn't be the point I would be making is for you to go see how they dress. You telling me. I'm not saying some of them don't wear their official garb of their country and they keep the root there and it's not there. I'm just saying there's more of them wearing suits and shit. Going to Oxford and thinking that's some real fly shit. Even if you went to Oxford and you came back to Africa and you was an African, they would be giving you props. Like when Black Panther went away to school, he didn't stay and go to school in Wakanda. See, it's even in the book. You feel me? That's what's going on, Lord. 
So today, in this today's society, since they're the rulers and the rich, they pretty much set the standard unless you're a rebel and that already was in your DNA. They couldn't get that out. They tried to get it out. They got it out a lot of us. I would say at least at least seventy five percent of us versus the other twenty five percent. And the number is probably more at a at an eighty percentile versus a twenty percentile. Um and I'm giving it a curve because I wouldn't be surprised if it was 85 versus 15%. It wouldn't surprise me if 85% of the uh, indoctrination period, 1555, the 85% of that indoctrination period uh, was enough to snap the, the uh, camel's back. And that last uh, 15% who never would break, they pretty much killed them. Right? They killed them. Now, back to as above, so below, as below, so above. Now, after you went through all of that, right, and you say to yourself, all right, so then, sequence Sequence in nature is normal, but individuality in nature is also normal, and hive is normal, and collective abilities are normal. But no matter what happens, each individual thing on earth, whether it's, as they would call it, organic or inorganic, each one is like a fingerprint. Even if you go outside right now and we went to the beach and we just took a cup of sand and, we, and when we get home, we're going to take a tablespoon of that sand and from that tablespoon, we're going to take samples and put it under a microscope and you would see that each grain is different than the other grain. None of those grains of sand look exactly the same. See what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. So, if you take, if you go to the other museums and libraries and um, universities, really, that's where you should go. The universities have what is called goats on a scale that is way, way beyond um, the microscopes you buy and you bring it home. You get them, you know, you combine them in the store, but you can look in those microscopes and see a lot. But when you, look, when you get to look at the makeup of an atom, and then you tell me, after you look at the makeup of an atom, what they're going to say, well, well, they're religious people, so religious people are going to say that the microscope and all that is, you know, whatever. Don't use it. It's not right and exact. Or it's fake or whatever they're going to say. But even when you look at cell structure of blood, I mean, you're going to say that's fake too? Whatever. It all looks like the universe, and the universe looks like it. That's what's happening. It's more like spheres. And things are moving in circles and they're together, but they're not together. It's chaotic and it's order in one. It's, that's the manifestation within itself. You have to have a broader mind than to believe that something is flat in the middle of space with a dome over it. Son, that doesn't make sense. I don't care what you say. It's still religion, and if that's your religious belief, then I bear witness with you that that's what you believe. And that it's okay to have a religious belief. If that gets you through this devil-ass society, good. Anything that works for you, um, and you love it, I love it too, for you. But don't think you're going to make me bear witness to it. That's not going down. So, and I'm not going to say that it's true. It is not. Atoms look like solar systems, G. As above, so below. As below, so above. You know, you fishing and sneaking and wondering 
What's good and what ain't? I'm telling you. If 120 don't bear witness to it, then it's not fact. It's a made of shit. And you could act like you're going mainstream. If you want to be a mainstream person, you could go mainstream and denounce the wisdom to destroy your degree. Because you're trying to go mainstream. You want to go pop. But if you want to stay hardcore, boom, back. You feel me? You got to go 120, son. You didn't get no street credibility going pop. You're not. You're telling me that fucking... Darwin Theory is better than 120? How how could that be a better hit? Make you look pretty bad because the position that you're in based on their theory ain't a good position. And as they say in the ghetto, your son ain't a good spot to be in. Word is born. You're in the bottom. Fuck that. I don't want to be no goddamn crab when I could be. A blue whale? I mean, what the fuck is that all about? Nobody fucks with the blue whale except for people that want to go in there and kill him and eat him, but that shows you how barbaric that is. Okay, think about this. You're a mammal, they're a mammal, right? Gee. They are way, way above you on certain things, like you're above them on certain things. Don't be thinking you, because you, your intelligence, you think your intelligence is more than their intelligence. That's just what you fucking think. <laughs> That's what you think. But your ways and actions don't prove it. That's what I'm saying. Now, I'm up here with you thinking like you're thinking, and I see what you're doing, and I say... What you're doing is creating an ecological disaster on the planet Earth. Not only is it, it has already caused it. The Earth is an ecological disaster. You're causing the ecological disaster. And you could stop it to like in one day. It'll only take you one day to stop doing it. But you'd have to tell corporate America to get up, pull theirself up by their bootstrap, first of all. Stop bullshitting. Y'all are fucking up the people for what? You already got all the money. You stole all the gold and silver. There's no more real... It's selling it back in little pieces when you sell them little bullions. But if you're buying your gold and silver on the stock market, just you don't really have it. It's inside the stock market. If you go into 47th Street or wherever that street is up in that area, the 40s, right? It could be anywhere because they move around. I remember when we used to go to Delancey Street and get gold. Now everybody's really pretty much on 47th Street, so that shows you how people move around. Son, I remember when you could go right on 34th Street. No, my bad. It was 30th and 8th. You could go to 30th and 8th and go buy bullion. Right at, right there. So, now after a while, that disappeared, you know. So, just like Samuel Wise's bookstore used to be right um, right off the Flatiron Building. It was down there. It was the Flatiron Building. We would go there first. Get fezzes and all kind of Masonic books and stuff. and uh, And then we would go... Um, and they had a lot of high esoteric, you know, We they would call them Masonic books because that was the Masonic bookstore. And they had all those books by Matthew McGregor, C.C. Zane. They had all of that because it's connected to the Hebrew part of their science that they stole from the Hebrews pretty much. You know, they they didn't steal it. The Hebrews pretty much gave them this science. And then they try to claim that they're the inventors of it and change the pictures and all that old good shit. We did a video on that and it showed and proved they they 85s too. Running around here worshiping a mystery god. So, you know, at the end of the day, the other degrees like equality, God... Build or destroy, power refinement, um, culture freedom, understanding, 
That is like actual facts. All you got to do is raise it or lower it based on the, what's happening today. If you're going to make it current events, right? That's not, that's not rocket science, right? The other part, the wisdom, the wisdom of myself, divine sight for master degree, that show from the opening when it says colored man, that, that changes your whole perspective of what they had as colored man. And remember, if you go back in history, you go, colored was one of the names that people used for black people. Now, they still use color like they'll say something to the effect, people of color and all that, right? And you got the legal people coming in with the patriot movement and the uh, Asiatic law and all that and the Moors and all that. They'll be coming from a legal perspective from Black's Law Dictionary, how they see these words of and whatever the case may be. All those words have different meanings in King English versus Queen's English, which is what regular people talk. You feel me? All right. Now, we went through that. We hit them in the head on that. Then you get the first degree is really the manifestation. What the rest of that shit adds on to that degree? Everything else adds on to that. That's the part most because didn't know. Who's the original man? They didn't know who it was because of what he did all in the 1 to 36, right? Now you see what he did and how he did it, you know. Why you didn't know who was the original man. Now, once you knew who the original man is, you figure out by the time you get, um, by the time you get to, I'm going to say, when you, well, really, when, once you hit the 1 to 36, when you do the 1 to 10, and once you hit the 1 to 36, you figure out that he fucked up your food. Right? He did your food in. And now he's doing even more damage to the food with the Monsanto and the genetically modified organisms and mixing fruits and vegetable DNA and he's going in, son, anyway. The, oh, he's pretty much got that cloning down pretty tight with the cheap and all that. He's been doing that for a minute. He got it down pretty good, you know. They never be like, how are you? It don't never be that way. But he, you know, he could do it now. He could do it, son. That little, that little sheep be living longer. Dolly, I think is her name. Anyway, the point I'm making is that's the wisdom built to destroy degree. Again, you may be trying to say, oh, that Yaku don't. My man, are you serious? You don't see it right in front of you, Yaku's rules and regulations? You don't see, oh, you didn't see the 600-year process. Maybe that happened, and that's why you don't know. That could be that, right? But everybody who knows, and I said the 600-year process, all the true and living, that shit just went right in their brain, and their brain automatically saw that degree, and they knew what it was, or they heard of it or something. If they's in this nation, they know about the 600-year process, J. Trust and believe. You just don't know. So... Once you did that, that's why I said the only other degree that you need to look at would be the 1 to 10. I mean, the 10th degree, which is the 10th degree in 120 is the 10th degree in the 110, which is the 10th degree in student enrollment. They all the same degree. They just got a lot of different names depending on who it is that's making it born. Submittance of said student to said lesson number one, and yada, 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 it keeps going on. But the point I'm making is the only other degree that you would say, I don't really know exactly what it is, is the 10th degree. All right? So with the degree, the plus degree, born there, and we already born the part that everybody was crying about it was 551 years. They couldn't understand. That's because they instinctively think of Rome's Christian. Rome's Catholic Church as Christianity, but actually Christianity is Protestant. Not Catholicism is the Roman Catholic Church. The Holy See is Catholicism, the canon laws. And you got King Henry VIII is really Catholicism, but you can get a divorce. Everything else is pretty close to the same. And at least only one of the one that's old like them is Eastern Orthodox. 
right? And you got Martin Luther comes in back of that. When Martin Luther make himself make that move, that's pretty much when Christianity is coming out. That's what's going down. But the Christianity that's here in the wilderness of North America that was enslaving us based on 551 and based on what you can see because your deficit ain't speaking Rome language, which would be some kind of Latin if it was the, the Roman Catholic Church speaks Latin. So even though the Roman Catholic Church is pervient under the leadership of who was ruling you in the southern countries as far as South America is concerned, she, the Vatican herself, didn't do it. Per se, they gave them the right to do it. Of course, they financed it and all kind of shit like that. They was there too. But the ones who was actually doing it, listen to the language. It's the Spaniards from Spain. That's why everybody is either speaking Portuguese or Spanish pretty much in South America. What is the language you hear a lot about in South America? Right? Brazil is speaking a lot of Portuguese because the Portuguese was there from Portugal. And they're really part of Spain, which is really Iberia. You know, this ain't no uh, shit that they could keep hidden from you. It's too late. I already told you. All you got to do is go look at yourself. What it is, is when 20 told me, I'm telling you, it makes it easier for me to tell you the, the manifestation because I know and understand when 20 is right me back. You motherfuckers just don't know the degrees. That's all. You think it's some kind of fable or something. That's on you. You can think that all you want. But trust and believe, that shit is not a fable. It's the truth right down to the last word. Just needs to be tweaked up and down based on um, punctuation. Other than that, nothing else. Is it, If you get the one punctuation that the father gave or whatever like that, it would be the same. But also when you look at that lesson, that other lesson that says he ain't want us to be like Muslims all sounding exactly the same. That's why it's it's his will. His will was that we wouldn't all be sounding exactly the same or he would have left us in the temple and we could have been with Farrakhan. That's what the lesson said. Now, if the lesson ain't right and exact, then the temple ain't right and exact. The temple's the physical composition. That I use to manifest in this physical plane of existence. And that goes right back to the one to 36. Are you eating right and exact? Are you eating right and exact? Now that you know... Okay, let's go to the 1 to 36, right? Everybody pull the 1 to 36 file out of their brain, and you tell them, hey, once you hit the part with my name, that goes right along with the first degree, right? Because the first degree says who was the original man. It tells you who the original man is. And the first degree is telling you what your name is. My name is Divine Understanding Born of Law, and everybody's going to be like... My name is, and we all know what our name is. See what I'm saying? Now, you looking through, and you say, why he say gold? Motherfucker, the lesson say gold. I know what it say. It say gold. And I know they, 1933, they pretty much stole all the gold. They stole the gold. That's really what they're saying. They stole the gold and took it offshore. Right? Uh, what's his name? Dr. Gene Schroeder, War Powers Act. Get that. Go look that up. Go read that. You'll be astonished. License all that. They the Moors ain't lying when they saying what they saying about licensing. They just didn't tell you the whole story. That he's the one that did all the research, really, and pulled all the documents up. But I mean, there's probably other people that have done it, but he compiled it. I don't. I haven't seen any others that as put together as well as his is, because he even has a letter, and he's asking the president's acquiescence to bring us back to constitutional law. Okay, there's a problem with some of that, and some of it's okay, I understand what he's doing. And then when they say they want to go back to a republic, you don't want to really go back to a republic unless they're going to still keep it like the Bill of Rights, nah, man, they go back to the Republic, son, you on the plantation. I don't know how you're going to get past the Republic in the plantation, because 
when they hit greenbacks and it ain't no republic no more, it's moving more towards democracy. That's Abraham Lincoln's era. Because prior to that, motherfucker, it's a republic. Are you telling me you think it's going to be a better look in republic or a democracy? Now, I'm not saying democracy was all that motherfucking great either, but at least they was only going, well, that was pretty rough because you went from republic and the prisoner of war camps where they was torturing you right there and you couldn't even get away to the Jim Crow and then now we got the prison complex system is on our ass now. Pretty much. But you could get away from the prison complex system easier than you could the prisoner of war camp. You feel me? The whole nation was in the prisoner of war camp then. Whatever free black people was running around and getting terrorized by these motherfuckers like terrorists. They would run up on your ass and just snatch you in broad daylight. The other white people was too afraid to stop them from doing it. If they, if The ones that was going to do it was gangster enough to do it. That even the white people who didn't want them to do it, they couldn't stop those motherfuckers, man. They couldn't stop them. It would take a nice town. The only way they didn't get black people was black people had their own township. And it was hard to get them that way because there was too many of them. They, but they would do other shit like act like you raped them so they could get the whole state to come at you. So they would figure out a way to get at you. So all that 1 to 36 is right and exact. Right? Now, then everybody would go to the 1 to 14. And I told you already, 1 to 14 going to have a lot of moose on it. We got all those degrees. And how you brought them out the cave. Uh, he taught the justice, equality, wisdoms, all that, right? And people say, oh, Moses, you know, you hear the Kemet side of Moses, this and that and the third. And I said, already, I said, already, when 20 already said that the dates weren't right and exact for the way the European got it. He said that the Bible been mixed, diluted, and tampered with. And the only way you can see the truth in it is if you really know and understand 120. Then you can see it because you got the lessons to cross-reference what was going on. Now you know they mixed and diluted and tampered with it. And if you do regular science and you say, I did a lesson on that, G. I did a lesson on that. My word is born. Um, if you go and you look in... Any of those books, oh, I'm going to show you a book off the chain. Get a Jerusalem Bible, get a Bible Concordance, get a Bible Dictionary. Get that Hebrew Israelite Yahweh Ben Yahweh Bible, because that's why I want you to look at those footnotes in those books. Then, once you look at those footnotes and you start reading it, you're going to understand that how people through the ages was putting the book together. It wasn't like it is now. When it first made itself manifest, it was more like it, a leaf form, a bunch of different degrees. Like the way we get our 120, Lord, you know how we get our 120 in leaves. If you didn't get it by quote, which that's how they did it in the old days. You might get it on a leaf, you might get it by word of mouth and quote it, you might get it both. You feel me? They did the same thing, and then later on, they started compiling it. Once they got a lot of stuff, people, put, well, priests, you know, man. They fix it based on the culture and the creed of the country and the land and how they moving then. They make it manifest to make it work that way. Same way when we build them with 120. The lesson will say da 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 and then now you hear me building on it. And you quote it that way. You quote it because we quote it so that it makes the convolutions change. But after I quote the degree and you get the plus degree and then you build with everybody and then you look at it, you see it from another manifestation which is called understanding. Now you could born it which way you want to go up or down on it. Tweak it up and down. But that's when you're manifesting it. But the foundation of it is right and exact because if it isn't, if the foundation ain't right, then none of it ain't right. It falls. This was on sand. It's going to wash away. And if that was true, look at this. All the masters who quote 120. And they don't be no slouches, G. They be doctors and shit. In the European system, they went and go get a degree. They at least, most of the modern, uh, Scholars of 120. When we got it nowadays, we went to college. Modern scholars went to college. 
and that we didn't get all of us. And I'm not saying that they didn't throw some of us in the penal institution. They always trying to do that because that's the way it's designed. Don't think that because they got you that is your fault and you're not a good person. No, they set the whole thing up. They going to get some of us. Some of us going to slip through. They can't get us all, but they're going to try anyway. See, that's what happens. Some of us slip through. That's what happens. You just didn't get through it. You got bad. But that don't change 120. All that shit is true. Look at it. You start looking. You start saying, oh, you'll see the symbolism in it, the, the theology in it, the the uh, esoteric science in it. You're going to see all that, but that doesn't take away the physical manifestation. See? As above, so below, as below, so above. That's how it works. Look at it. It's telling the truth. Even though it's that raw-ass truth, motherfucker, he is the devil when you're saying as a nation. He's your devil, definitely. If you're saying that nation versus our nation, yeah, motherfucker, that's our devil to us. Maybe to somebody else, he's their angel. But to us, he's our devil, definitely. You know, you got to look at it from that perspective and say, okay, from a national perspective, that nation versus this nation, yes, they coming for us. If you don't understand they coming for your throat, then you ain't going to know how to defend yourself. Because they're coming for your throat, son. Regardless to whom or what. Now, on a physical level of individuality, your individual self versus another individual self, I'm sure that you have met other Europeans in your individual self that y'all are good, y'all cool, they all right, but that's... You and that individual European. It is what it is. The systemic racism ain't dealt with just one individual European. It's the whole system. They can't even stop it at the low level. You have to be at a law, lawmaker's level to make the legislation change. But that doesn't change the people's heart that they already propaganded. And they'll write a law in that says you can't do that, but they'll still be throwing the propaganda at your ass. Didn't they make laws that said you a 14th and 15th Amendment citizen? And then they turn right back around and create the prison complex system. Really, they did Jim Crow and all the rest of that other shit, too. So, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? That Chinese guy. And it was a Chinese person that was a Korean. There was a Japanese, and them three didn't even really get along, but they still was there talking about the black people in America. When they say the black man, they were specifically talking about black people in wilderness North America, the 50 states, those black people. And they was trying to round off on us, right, saying that um, not like the blacks, you know, they kill each other. They don't get along. They go and they stand in a line to give their money to people who don't like them, but give them, um, what did he call it? What kind of product? In other words, it wasn't, the product wasn't ideal. It wasn't the best product. It would be beneath um, the standard. Like, no one else, no other community could you come in and give them that substandard f product and they buy it. But he said the comp the um the black people felt so, they feel, they, uh, he didn't, he wasn't trying to say that they felt so helpless that they did it because of the pounding they've been getting over the hundreds of years. He didn't say that. He was trying to act like it was their fault. So the other guy, the brother, uh, he spoke Chinese. They didn't know he spoke Chinese. And he built, he was born in their ass. 